In this first application, I'm given 10 gallons of water leak from a hose in one day. At this rate, how much water will leak from the hose in nine days? So here's how I can set up a proportion to solve this problem. There are other ways to solve the problem, but we're going to set it up using a proportion. So my units, I see I have gallons and days, and I want to know how much water will leak from the hose, number of gallons, also in days. So I can set up a proportion. So I have 10 gallons leak from a hose in one day. And my question is, how many gallons leak in nine days? And instead of a question mark here, I could put a question mark, but let's go ahead and put a variable and we will choose the variable X. So to solve, I'm going to work with a cross product. I'm going to take the 9 underneath the x, multiply across the equals, and up. So that means that x is going to be equal to 10 times 9 divided by 1, better known as 90. And my units of x are gallons. So let's sum this up with a nice sentence here at the end. So our conclusion then is that in nine days, 90 gallons will leak from the hose. Does this make sense? We've got 10 gallons per day, nine days, 90 gallons. That answer makes perfect sense. Part B, Mary earned $112.50 last week working 12 hours at her part-time job. If she wants to earn, not works, wants to earn, but if she wants to earn, take that out of there, 175 the next week and is paid at the same rate, how many hours would she need to work? So again, we can set up a proportion. And when I'm given information that is unit-based, where the unit ratios are the same, the, the ratios of the units, I should say, then I know I could probably use a proportion. So I have money and hours and money and hours. Those are my units I'm working with. I'm starting with $112.50 for 12 hours. And I know that she wants to earn $175 the next week. And so how many hours will she need to work? So we're going to do a cross product here. We're going to switch places with the X and the 11250. And then we're going to multiply the 12 up times the 175. So here's how everything is going to look once we switch places. So 175 times 12 divided by 112.50. And let's use our calculator, 175 times 12. I'm going to go ahead and get that result, then divide it by 1112.50. Enter. And that gives me approximately, let's just round this to two decimals, 18.67. And let's conclude this with a nice sentence. So our conclusion is that Mary will need to work 18.67 hours to earn $175. And does this number of hours seem to be pretty much right on track? Well, it was 12 hours, gave her $112.50. So the 18.67, we know that she'd have to work more than 12. Um, but not too much more to get to 175, so this seems to make sense.